you on uh, section 2.1 to start with polynomials. We need to also talk about the multiplicity or the repeated factor of our uh, polynomials. So <clears throat> we're given, we talked about polynomials and we talked about zeros. And one way we talked about uh, when we're given the zeros, we can write it as a factor of x minus a. So you know, if a was our uh, zero, we could write it as x minus a. Well, sometimes when you're finding your factors, you're going to get a factor that's going to be raised to a power. Like, hence, when you factor, let's say you had a factor on x squared. So you're going to be getting a zero that's to the x squared power. Or here, let's say you factor it, and you get x plus 3 squared. So what does that mean? Well, there's a lot of really important parts that means. Um, depending on what your exponent is, if k is i, the graph crosses the x-axis at x equals a. And two, if k is even, the graph touches, but does not cross the y-axis at x equals a. So this is very important for us to be able to graph our graphs because we have a couple things. First of all, we need to know the beginning and end behavior, and that's from your leading coefficient test. Then the next thing is we need to find the zeros, and that's by you know, understanding the definition of what a zero is and being able to factor. Then the third thing is understanding the multiplicity. And once we can kind of uh, you know, understand those three points, we really can get a good understanding of how to, how to graph a, uh, any polynomial function. And you know, we'll get into a little bit more of uh, you know, using the intermediate value theorem and some other things. But you know, we're given some easy polynomials. Let's take a look at um, this graph, or this polynomial. This is a factor polynomial. And so let's take a look at our zeros. Now remember, if here's my zero, I know that it, it crosses at uh, um, a comma zero. That's going to be your x-intercept. Because that was one thing in the previous outline that I told you uh, would be happening. So for here, I'm going to have x squared, and then I have x minus 4 and x plus 2. So first, I'm going to ma match up all my uh, x-intercepts. So I have a 0, x equals 4, and negative 2. Um, and then here I have x equals 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then I have a negative 3, 1, 2, 3. All right. So a couple things when looking at this one is, um, now without knowing anything of our end behavior or really dealing with that, um, I do know my end behavior is going to be greater than 0, all right, and, or my a is greater than 0 because none of my x's are negative. And I also know it's going to be third, it's going to be to the fourth power. So they're going to be going the same direction. And so on this one, I know that my graph is going to end up, my end behavior is going to look like this. All right? Now, since this is odd, I know it's going to go directly through those two points. Since my 2 is odd, it's going to cross it. And since my 4 is odd, it's going to cross it. And then the one thing is said when it's even, it touches, but it does not cross. So that's going to look something like this. So the graph, roughly, is going to take form of somewhere around in that shape. And let's say we took a look at this graph. Again, now, this one, again, I chose, you know, for simplicity, I chose my values of my x and of, of my leading term to be uh, positive, so it's going to be greater than 0. So therefore, uh, let's see, we got negative 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4. See, I know that's going to be, uh, that's going to be going upwards. And then at negative 3, I know this is again going to open down because what happens is I know that these are in my two end behaviors. And this is just something I worked on from my first overview video if you watch it. You can determine how to find what the end behavior is. And since this is a multiplicity of 2, I know it's going to be open downwards. And then I can just connect the two graphs. And since this one is odd, I know it's going to cross. So that's just a quick kind of overview of, multi of repeated zeros and how multiplicity works.